Hi guys and welcome in the first video of this new challenge, one week, one bot. The goal, I think, is really clear. Create a profitable trading strategy in one week. But obviously, maybe we'll have 10 bots, maybe we'll have no bots. The underlying challenge is to work seven days very hard and to see at the end what we are able to do. I didn't prepare anything for the challenge, so at the end, we'll see together what I was able to achieve in one week. And I hope that we will have at least one profitable bot. A quick parenthesis, for this challenge, I will create a lot of code, but for the strategy implementation, backtesting, robustness test, I will use the AlphaQuant program templates. So for those of you who are into the program, it will be obviously much easier because you will know a lot of things that I will use. So it will be very better to understand what I do. For the other, you can find a link in the description if you want to join our AlphaQuant program. But if you don't want to join, you can still follow the challenge for free on YouTube. So don't worry about that. It will just be a bit harder than for the others. So in this video, I will explain you what we will do, how we will do it, why we will do it, and many other things. So really, watch this video to the end to be sure you have all the information to understand and to follow this challenge. First, I just want to make a quick recap about the process that you need to follow when you create a trading strategy. So it looks like that. First, you need to have some raw content. So you will read the news, you will go on some forums to look about new ideas for your trading strategy. Then you need to check if the data are available, okay? Maybe if you have to import some confidential data from the FBI, you can't model the trading strategy, it's obvious, okay? Then first, you have the data preparation and the data processing. These two parts is the features engineering part. You will create new features, you will standardize the data, you will apply other transformation. For example, in this challenge, we will use only the open ILO close volume data. So we need to do a great work about the features engineering to be sure that we will create information with our data. Then the data processing is to transform your data, apply like standard scalar methods, PCA methods, and a lot of other things, but we'll talk about that in the next videos. Then there you have the signal creation part. You will use statistics, optimization, machine learning to find an interesting relation between the targets that you want to predict with your trading idea. For example, the percentage of tomorrow, the volatility of next week, a lot of other things. And so you will check about the relationship between your targets and your features. And you will see if you have any relation, if each feature is necessary, how we will remove some features from the model, why we will do it, and a lot of things. This part is really, I think, in my opinion, the most important because it is there that you will create all the basis for your trading strategy because a signal is not a trading strategy. A signal is create information between your features and your target. And the trading strategy is use one signal, two signals, or many signals that you want and combine them to improve the accuracy, add some risk management method, add many other things. All the things that is related to really trading himself is for the strategy. And all the thing that is predictions, relationship between features and target is in the signal part, when you want to use machine learning to extract information. It's really important, I just want to make a quick recap. The signal is generally a black box, okay? You know the features that you put into, but the most important things, you know the target. And what is inside is not really interesting for us. But be really careful. You need always to have a white box when you want to create the trading strategies. It means you can create a very interesting signal. We know what this signal predicts, like the market regime, okay, for example. And we'll use this signal very simply in the trading strategy. Like, okay, I will use this market regime indicator that is just minus one, zero, or one, for example, as values. Because in my trading strategy, I want to know if 
the market is ranging or in an upward trend. The idea is very clear. It's a white box. I want the market regime because I need to know if I am in a ranging period. But how we have this information is a black box. It comes from the signal. So really important to specify that a signal can be a black box, but the trading strategies cannot. Then you have to backtest your trading strategies, do some robustness test, the incubation. So we'll talk about that more in detail when we'll create the trading strategy. Now, the question is how we'll do this challenge. As I said before, as we use the open ILO close volume data, we need to do a very great work on the features in Genuine. So we'll take three days or three first days to work on the features in Genuine. The goal obviously is very, very clear, is to create a maximum of features, a maximum of different information. In a second step, we want to create some signals. As I said before, there are differences between signal and strategies. Signals is just something interesting, a great relationship, because when you create the features, for example, the simplest feature is a moving average, okay? If you just create the fact that you can create a moving average, a function, you didn't create any information. The goal of the signal port is to take, for example, the moving average function, create a moving average and find a relation between the moving average and your target. So that's the signal port. It's really there that we will do all our data analysis and we'll take two days to do that. And we'll try to extract as much information as we can for all the assets that you will study. For now, I have extracted the data and I will show you how in the next video for the major cryptocurrencies, the major currencies and the indices. So I have around 15, 20 assets and the two last days are there to create trading strategies using our previous signal. So now that we have done a great introduction, I will explain you what I will do today. Today, I will walk the whole days on features engineering. I have already some code from the AlphaQuant program to extract some data. So I will walk the whole day on features in Genoa. The goal is to create three types of features. The trend features like long-term features, market regimes and stuff like this. The second type is volatility. The market is really volatile. The market is really stable. And the more it is volatile, the more we have opportunity in the market. And the third type is obviously the short like information about the previous week, the previous day, for example, the return of the previous week, the return of yesterday to have more information about where we are in the market. But obviously in three days, we'll trade more interesting features than what I said. And the last thing that I want to talk about is how can we use access to the code? The answer is very simple. You just have to go below the video, you go on this link and you just have to put your email address to receive all the codes from this challenge. So I think it's a lot of information in one video, but all that you need to remind is that the challenge has begun and today our work on the features engineering because I have all the data thanks to the AlphaQuant templates. And for the code, it's below the video.